Let's face it, few things are as quotable as the films and TV shows created by Joss Whedon. They're funny, silly, and sometimes just badass. This week's episode is all about quotes from the Whedonverse. Hi, I'm your host, Brian Rollins, and this is the Dorky, Geeky, Nerdy Trivia Podcast. This week's episode is a slightly different format. Instead of questions, I'll be giving you quotes from TV shows created by or movies directed by Joss Whedon. Ten quotes per round with three rounds in total. Each round will get harder. In round one, the dorky round, you'll have to give me the character that says the quote. Round two, the geeky round, you must answer the character and the show or movie. Round three, the nerdy round, you must answer the character, the show, and the episode. If you're the kind of person that wants some rules to play by, either solo or in a group, you can find some at dorkygeekynerdy.com slash rules. Now that the formalities are out of the way, I must ask, are you a big damn hero? Let's find out. The Dorky Round. Name the character who said the quote. Number one. Curse your sudden but inevitable betrayal. Wash. Number two. I understood that reference. Captain America. Number three. Cordelia, your mouth is opened, sound is coming from it. This is never good. Buffy Summers. Number four. Sorry to barge in. I'm afraid we have a slight apocalypse. Giles. Number five. The human mind is like Van Halen. If you just pull out one piece and keep replacing it, it just degenerates. Topher. Number six. Well, as vampires go, you're pretty cuddly. Maybe you might want to think about mixing up the black on black a little, though. Cordelia. Number seven. Puny God. The Hulk. Number eight. Actually, he's the boss. I just pay for everything, design everything, make everyone look cooler. Tony Stark, a.k.a. Iron Man. Number nine. Time for some thrilling heroics. Jane Cobb. Number 10. I've seen honest faces before. They usually come attached to liars. Willow. The Geeky Round. In this round, name the character and the show or movie. Number 1. Well, my days of not taking you seriously are certainly coming to a middle. Malcolm Reynolds, Firefly. Number two. I don't handle rejection well. Funny, considering all the practice I've had, huh?
Xander, Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Number three. I remember everything. Sometimes I'm someone else and then I come back, but I still feel them, all of them. I've been many people. I can hear them, sometimes suddenly. I'm all of them, but none of them is me. Do you know who is real? Echo, from Dollhouse. Number four. You and I remember Budapest very differently. Black Widow, a.k.a. Natasha Romanoff, from The Avengers. Number five. Too much hair. River Tam, Firefly. Number six. I've done the whole mind control thing. Not a fan. Clint Barton, a.k.a. Hawkeye, from The Avengers Age of Ultron. Number seven. I don't want to use the word genius, but I'd be okay if you wanted to. Topher from Dollhouse. Number eight. They want me in a submerged, pressurized metal container? Bruce Banner from The Avengers. Number nine. We tried to stop her by hitting her fists and feet with our faces, but she got away. Gun from Angel. Number ten. I had rather hear my dog bark at a crow then a man swear he loves me. Beatrice from Much Ado About Nothing. Okay, time for a break. This week's book of the week is Firefly, The Unification War. Captain Malcolm Reynolds thought he could outrun his past, but when a simple heist goes wrong, he's forced to confront it. With the fabled traitor of Serenity Valley in his sights, Mal's quest for revenge will put him at odds with his own crew, forcing him to make a choice, fix the past or fight for the future. This new story in the Firefly universe rolls out on April 30th, but you can pre-order it now. You can find a link for it at www.dorkygeekynerdy.com book. And now, back to the show. The Nerdy Round. Name the character, the show, and the episode. I will be bending the laws of time and space to give you more time for this round. Number one. It's been a big day, what with the abduction and all. Simon Tam from Firefly, the episode Safe. Number two. So, Dawn's in trouble. Must be Tuesday. Buffy Summers from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the episode Once More with Feeling. Number three. Well, personally, I kind of was Slay the Dragon. Let's go to work. (laughs) 
Angel from Angel, and the episode is Not Fade Away. Number four. Sure, it's humiliating, having to lie there while the better man refuses to spill your blood. Mercy's the mark of a great man. Guess I'm a good man. Well, I'm all right. Malcolm Reynolds from Firefly. The episode, Shindig. Number five. My entire existence was constructed by a sociopath in a sweater vest. What do you suggest I do? Saunders from Dollhouse. Episode Vows. Number six. I don't understand. I don't understand how all this happens, how we go through all this. I mean, I knew her, and then she's just... There's just a body, and I don't understand why she just can't get back in it and not be dead anymore. Anya, from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the episode, The Body. Number seven. Yeah, Buffy, what are we going to do now? Dawn Summers from Buffy the Vampire Slayer, the episode Chosen. Number eight. Okay, so he survived an unspeakable hell dimension. I mean, who hasn't? But you just can't leave him all alone on the streets of Los Angeles. Fred from Angel, the episode Benediction. Number nine. Are you asking me to dance? Kaylee Fry from Firefly, the episode Serenity. Number 10. This is going to be one of those talks where I do all the talking, isn't it? Cordelia from Angel, the episode Heartthrob. Well, that's a wrap on our first quotable episode. You'll hear these from time to time. If you have a suggestion for a topic, quotable or otherwise, hit us up at dorkygeekynerdy.com. You can find links to follow us on social media or just send us a message. You can also subscribe to the podcast or newsletter to stay up to date on episodes. I'm your host, Brian Rollins. Keep flying and thanks for listening. <laughs>